Let's take a look at solving two-step equations. Here we have an equation that has more than just a variable and an operation and a number. We have two operations going on. We have b being divided by 3 plus 13. Now to solve an equation like this, we need to work backwards in with regard to the order of operations. We kind of need to work our way toward the variable. And we start with the stuff that's further away from it. In this case, we have a plus 13. To get rid of plus 13, we do the opposite still, just like always when solving, and we subtract 13. If we do something on one side of the equation, we must do it on the other side, so we'll subtract 13 here as well. Then we bring down what we have left. B over 3, the plus 13 and the minus 13, that cancels out. And then we have 11 minus 13, that gives us negative 2. Now, this should look familiar. We've solved equations like this before. We have b divided by 3 equals negative 2. What's the opposite of dividing by 3? Well, that's multiplying by 3. So we're going to multiply both sides by 3. These cancel out. The divide by 3 times 3, they're the opposite, so they cancel. We're left with b equals negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. Now remember, anytime we solve an equation, we can always go back and check to make sure that it works. So if we take this negative 6, take it back in and put it in for b, so if we had negative 6 divided by 3 would be negative 2 plus 13, sure enough, that's 11, so it works. You can always check your answer. There is no real good excuse for getting these types of problems wrong. Let's take a look at another example. I'm going to switch colors quick here. We have 9g plus 11 equals 2. We want to do the opposite. In this equation, we have the plus 11 to get rid of first, so we're going to subtract 11, do the opposite. Remember, if we do it on one side, we have to do it on the other, so we subtract 11 here. Then we bring down what we have left, 9g plus 11 minus 11, that cancels out, and 2 minus 11 is negative 9. Now, we have 9 times g, what's the opposite of times 9? Well, that would be divided by 9, so we're going to divide by 9, both sides of our equation, and we end up with g equals negative 9 divided by positive 9 is negative 1. Let's take a look at another one here. Let's go up on the top and take a look at this one. Now, we have t over 4 minus 10 equals negative 6. First thing we need to do, remember we want to work our way toward our variable. Get closer and closer, take care of the things that are further away first. So we have a minus 10. How do we get rid of minus 10? Well, we do the opposite, plus 10. So plus 10 there. Same thing on both sides, remember. Then bring down what we have left. t over 4 equals minus 10 plus 10 cancels out. And negative 6 plus 10 gives us 4. Now we have t divided by 4. What's the opposite of divided by 4? That'll be times 4. Remember, do it on both sides. These cancel out. We're left with just t, which is what we want, just the variable, equals t 4 times 4 is 16. Let's take a look at this next one. Here we have negative a plus 6 equals 8. Now, <clears throat> We want to work our way toward the variable, so we're going to start by getting rid of the plus 6. To get rid of a plus 6, we do the opposite, minus 6. Same thing on both sides. I sound like kind of a stuck record, but it's the same thing every time. Then bring down what we have left. Don't lose this negative. That needs to stay with the a. So we have negative a equals 8 minus 6 is 2. Now, we're not done yet. Our variable is not by itself. It still has that negative there. Now, if we have just a variable, what number is sitting in front of it? 
Well, the number 1 is always in front of the variable. The coefficient of a variable by itself is 1, so this is really a negative 1 sitting here. Now, this is going to work the same way this problem did. We had 9 times g. To get rid of it, we divided by 9. Well, this one we have negative 1 times a. To get rid of it, we're going to divide by negative 1. Divide by negative 1 on both sides. Those cancel out, of course. And we get a equals 2 divided by negative 1 gives us negative 2. Let's look at one final example here. This one, we've got 15x plus 3 equals 48. First step again, get rid of the plus 3 by doing the opposite, minus 3. Minus 3 on both sides, bring down what we have left. 15x equals 48 minus 3 is 45. Then we have 15 times x, do the opposite, which would be divided by 15 both sides. Then we have x equals 45 divided by 15 is 3. And again, remember, you can always double check your answer. You could take this number you get, put it back in for the variable, and see if it works. Like in this case, we have 15 times 3. That's 45 plus 3 is 48. So it works. You can always double check your answers. Hopefully this is helpful. Good luck.